Hope you. Oh, how's it going? Yeah, Frank. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Right? We're here behind the scenes, ECH Studio, Pods on Deck. <laughs> episode number four. Yeah. So I mean, what is it? Let the studio's about to burn. <laughs> Deep. On today's episode, we've got a very special guest for you guys. Currently the fourth leading scorer in the nation, James. Yeah. You hear that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Junior Cappy. You hear that? <laughs> All right. For the RIT <laughs> Tigers, Will the Thrill Calverly. Will, thanks for joining the show. What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, you know, we've, we've had better starts to the day. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, we had a little shooting go on uh, just outside of ECH Studios here tonight. Yeah, someone got down for a couple. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. man, it was just like our camera guy was walking in. All of a sudden, you just hear three pops, four, whatever. I was like, I just ran to the parking lot. I was like, no way. And it didn't stop there. I mean, there's a few more. Yeah, there's been a couple there. more shots as of late. But we're going to keep rolling here. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey. Yeah. Work through it. The yeah. boys in blue showed up, so we're safe. We're doing okay. <laughs> we might get interrupted by the boys in blue during this thing, but we're going to rip yeah, they it. Yeah, so. check out the studio. I mean, can't blame them. Like, it makes sense. But yeah, we're doing good. I'll yourself there can uh i mean hopefully school uh, not too much yeah all done school now just kind of bored just trying to grind through the days practice in the morning and then kind of do nothing throughout the days i gotcha yeah just getting ready for some puck here mm-hmm. um yeah you know let's let's jump into uh just kind of how crazy your guys beginning of the season was like you know you were one of the many teams that did uh, initially shut down I had that announcement early November, the president of RIT, whoever it was, you know, it said due to COVID concerns, even though you guys had zero positive tests on the team, you know, what was, what was that like when you guys got that announcement and, you know, how the boys react to that? Uh, it was obviously, like, it was disappointing when we found out, but uh, I got to give credit to our senior class. They, uh, they did a good job. They fought for it and uh, actually worked out an email that obviously I think you guys probably saw I got some got some attention across college hockey Bucci and them retweeted it oh yeah but, uh, yeah. yeah that was well they, well put like, yeah and then uh obviously the school listened to us which was nice and we're back yeah i think uh walker reached out to me like before like anything was announced yeah and then he's like oh, wait a second like we were gonna have one of you guys on the pod we'll probably have him on eventually too actually we will but uh yeah we want you guys to voice your opinion and everything that was kind of the, one of the first cancels that team to cancel and yeah. all that and it was pretty cool that you guys had a, a way to bounce back and get your season back right and yeah, yeah it, was, it was nice like not every team obviously there's been that kind of reaction from every team that's been shut down yeah. you the only ones to so far that have gotten it all the way back i mean you guys came out with a bang right away and the season started to you know so like you finally get uh get to go out there and then you play clarkson you know top team first first series of the week there uh, put up an eight burger on him. Yeah. <laughs> first game. And then yours truly there. You had a hat trick in that game. You know, take me through that first game skating out. Like, were you guys just running on pure adrenaline there? Yeah, we, we, we didn't know uh, what was going to happen, whether the game was actually going to happen or not. But then uh, right. with it happening, we just figured, all right, well, might as well make the most of it. So we just tried playing our best and ended up putting up eight against Clarkson, which was pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, that was that was a electric. That was a fun one to watch, and I mean, you guys have won a few more games, one for LIU and Niagara. So I mean, I'm glad you guys got your season. I know you guys as players and everything you've worked for are just thankful to be on the ice this year. I mean, there's a bunch of teams right. that don't get that opportunity. Are, do you have buddies on other teams that have had their season canceled? Uh, yeah, I got a couple guys. I haven't really reached. Out. I've reached out to some of them, but yeah, yeah. it's just it's. It's not the best situation, so we're just grateful that our school was able to listen to us and overturn their initial decision. I guess we could talk about kind of, you know, your schedule this season is going to be not against everybody in the Atlantic there. Um, like, you, I don't think you guys have any games currently on the schedule with uh, any more with Clarkson or AIC or Army. You know, you get some, you know, more tough opponents coming up like Robert Morris. But, like, so far, do you feel pretty good, like, with your chances to be at the top of the Atlantic heading into the Atlantic playoffs there? <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 gonna be a unique season as I think we're mostly just playing New York teams or teams close by. Right. So uh but no I, I like our chances. I think um we got a good pod in ourselves. Niagara is not an easy team by any means, mm-hmm. but I think we'll just get so familiar with them and everything that uh these it's gonna be a weird season, but I think we got a good chance of uh doing pretty well. Like you, you mentioned that pod. I mean, do you think that um 
those teams that you got with with your schedule left in the season, do you think that hurts your yourself or betters you know your opportunity to make the tournament as far as pairwise goes? Like, um, I don't, I don't really know. We're we're looking to uh, just hopefully uh, win our win our league, right. get that bid, and then uh, take it from there. But yeah, we're trying to get as many out of conference games as we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just scheduled one with Colgate actually on the 29th, I believe, of December or something like that. So we're just trying to do anything to help that pairwise or absolutely yeah extra bid. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but you win your tournament, you're in anyways, right? So I mean that's yeah exactly yeah, that's all you got to focus on anyway. That's what we're looking for. I'm just curious. I've been asking players the past couple of weeks because pairwise is a big deal and it's tough now with the schedules. Like it's it's different than normal yeah. year as far as who you get to play. I don't know how it's even gonna work out this season. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on the committee. Does. I'd be <laughs> I would suck to be on that committee this year. I'll tell you that. Yeah, no doubt. Um, but yeah, I guess we can talk about the you know the upcoming matchup you guys got here. Face off with Canisius or Canisius. Can of corn. Can of corn. Can of corn are playing this weekend. You know, uh, they actually look very good. You know, they almost swept Robert Morris in their first series. They haven't played since late, early, late November. Um, and they're, I love this stat, number two in the nation in shots on net. They're averaging 41 and a half per game. Like, Jesus. you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So they get pucks deep. Yeah. Uh, you know, what's what's the game plan in to slow down that, that hot four check they got there? Um, honestly we uh we we were kinda taking it uh off this week. Like we're uh what I mean sorry, what I mean by that is that uh since it, the game's on Sunday now, we mm-hmm. kinda had two off days now, so we're starting our preparation tomorrow actually. Okay. So we're gonna get into all that. So honestly I can't really answer that we just know that they're going to be a aggressive team and like you said they're going to put pucks on that so we just got to be prepared to defend and uh hopefully turn some transition the other way yeah absolutely i love it <laughs> 41 jesus <laughs> <laughs> it's a good amount there but yeah gotta keep the legs fresh um sorry you look like you had something no i mean i just want to ask and i, I know you got this question i saw your other interview but obviously there's no fans this year and rit i mean you guys got the, one of the best student sections and bands and just atmosphere in college hockey you know what's it like not having those guys cheering you on giving you you know momentum yeah it's, it's weird like in the moment for yeah. sure but then like you get off the ice after a win or anything like that you check your phone and your twitter's just blowing up with half the rit band the corner crew guys tweeting at you uh liking everything so ECH you know, posting you on the story like, What's that, sorry? we threw you on the story when you got your hattie i mean we wanted to make a post yeah. we didn't get footage in time so <laughs> like yeah like, that's how I, like it's i mean right now college hockey is at the forefront of the hockey community so right that's nice everyone's, it's huge everyone's for college paying hockey. attention so oh, yeah. you get, you're getting more notice it's just in the moment it's weird even the nhl news. guys the nhl good. guys have had nothing to watch so they've been watching college yeah, hockey like spin chicklets taking our posts yeah you know, i mean to name a few it's hockey yeah. it's good it's good hockey yeah, exactly. too i think i've exactly. been really impressed with just the pace of play and like i don't know everyone wants it just as much if not more because they've been you know yeah. starving for a season and uh, scrimmaging against the same guys for months so you, you would say it's not hard to get going though before a game in the locker room like even with no you're not going out to any fans is it still you guys are ready to go like yeah sometimes you gotta remind like it's playing at home yeah you gotta yeah. remind yourself sometimes that there aren't gonna be fans there because yeah. usually when when we're getting started in lineup it's rocking in the gene but yeah i mean at the end of the day we're just we're grateful that we're playing so we just want to go out there and make the most of it at all times. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I mean, that's kind of what smelling salts are for. <laughs> 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 Got to get the up exactly. and get a little bit. Yeah. Get ready to play. I mean, like, clearly hasn't slowed you guys down, at least offensively. You know, you guys are off to a very hot start. I think you're averaging over four goals per game so far. You know, talk to me about, like, what that's been like coming out of the gates that hot. You know, like, besides getting pucks deep, you know, what's led to that success? Uh, I think just, we're we're getting some bounces and our power play is kicking right now. We uh, I think we have a power play goal at least at least one in every game we've played so far. Mm-hmm. So I mean, obviously, when your power play is going, that helps a lot. And then I think we just get a lot of traffic to the net. We got some greasy greasy goals this year <laughs> so far, but I mean, we'll take them. You have, but it helps you win games. I watched a couple of your games this year. The boys look good though. I mean, you guys look quick. Like, yeah. you guys are hungry for sure. So it's it's been fun to watch and. Yeah, I think you guys got a good chance to finish the top of the Atlantic here. So, absolutely buzzing. You just cleaning the table right now? Well, I just I don't know. It's really pissing me off. <laughs> so, so really uh, yeah, I mean, you guys are obviously flying, um, definitely on offense. But I think we got to break down. Like, I'm a big stat sheet guy. I don't know if you know that, but uh, just looking through, um, you know, obviously you can score the puck. But something I haven't seen talked about at all is that you eat a good amount of pucks. Oh, yeah. The, the block shots have been there. Maybe not this season. I don't know if your stat sheet guy's missing them. But I was just going back prior seasons. Last year, as a center, you blocked 30 shots. I mean, that's like... (laughs) 
just got to give it to you right there. You know, just tell me about, uh, you know, was that, was that on your calendar just marked up? Like, I'm, I'm going to eat that many in the season. Like, what, what goes into that? Staying in those um, I think for that, that's just mostly um, PK. Like yeah. our, our coach lets us know that if you're going to be killing, you better be blocking shots. So mm-hmm. I think that if I want to stay out there, I got to, I got to do what I got to do. I got to eat a couple pucks. But, uh, no, I and mean, it's just just trying to get in front of as many as you can, and we try to limit shots against teams. We try to keep them twenty five and under, so mm-hmm. our whole team just tries to get in front of them best we can. Right, that's what you got to do. You got yeah. ice bags, boys. Give me oh, yeah, stick tags on the bench. You play you play the gritty the gritty style of, of hockey there, and we love it. And uh, but yeah. do do you chirp though? Are you a guy that runs his mouth on the ice or at the refs? <laughs> Uh, not so much other guys, refs sometimes, depending on the situation. <laughs> yeah. What's but, the worst uh, thing you've said to a ref? <laughs> if you can say what's that? that. What's the worst thing you've said to a ref? <laughs> That's <What? pe-> <laughs> You can just rip it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't even. Back. It's nothing like brutal. It's just subtle things. Yeah. Just letting them know that they're, they're, they're off that night or like the linings <laughs> aren't doing their job on the draws. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah. But well, now you got the A, so you kind of got to be careful. You got to stay out there, you know. Yeah, they got all the power, right? Yeah. <laughs> are you vocal? No, you got an A. Are you vocal in the room there? What are you telling the guys? Like, how how are you leading by example there? Uh, I I try to I try to be vocal, but mm. I'm I'm honestly kind of kind of shy in the locker room, kind of quiet. I kind of more go out there and just play my style. Just Barry. Kind yeah. of just try to keep everyone on the same page. But right. I mean, we got we got some vocal guys on our team, so I let them take care of all that stuff. There you go. Yeah. Everybody knows their role. I mean, if you keep you know, lighting up the sheet, like what are they gonna say? Like, and blocking shots, obviously. Mm-hmm. You guys have a I guess one of my favorites, I forget who was the uh oh, it might have been Goddet, the PK that we've had on. Yeah. Um, I forget what they said, like they were like you know, the plumbers, I think. <laughs> PK team name. Yeah. You guys have a, just a squad that you go out there, like, are, you know, plumbers or just hard hat guys, lunch pail mentality. What's the. Do you have a nickname? No, what, we got to no, our slogans kill the power. Kill, so. kill the power. All right. There kill you go. the power. That's, I mean, that's straightforward. <laughs> that's pretty straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> just, we, we know what we got to do, and we just try to go out there and make the best of it. No one, I mean, PK is not the prettiest role, but. Mm-hmm. It's going to help you win games, so we all just try to make the most of it. I love it. I mean, like, uh, leading the PK there and then also leading the team in points, like, what a combination. Yeah. <laughs> not not leading – let's go. I'm going to go over the Instagram here, but you're not leading the team in post. I see no RIT stuff. What's, yeah. what's that about? Are you waiting for a, a I, check from them? Or? I've been quiet. I mean, I'm, I'm going to look now, I guess. It's yeah. been a while, I think. He posted more than the team page did in juniors, but now I haven't seen anything in RIT. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got. Chilliwack needed it. Yeah. I got. Yeah, I guess I got three at RIT. I don't know. I guess I've just been slowing down on Instagram. No, nah, we're, we're just giving you crap. I mean. Oh no, I know. <laughs> I was just curious. I, I, was, I was young and rec- I was young back in Chilliwack. Yeah. There you go. Well, some guys don't post. Some guys do. It's I don't know. Or some guys are on social media more than others, or right playing Warzone or something. Whatever it is, like yeah, everyone's yeah. different. Well, you just gotta pop over the tag posts. Is there a lot? I just gotta be. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. I'm eating them off there. You know. Uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought now. I don't know where you're going. <laughs> no, uh, I can't think. But uh, you know, we should touch on you know your time at Chilliwack there. Uh, like you know, you played two seasons. I, I think the first year you're on the same, uh, not the same line, but the same team as Kawaguchi. So I mean, uh, you know, talk to me about what that was like. You're. You, just, I guess you you take overs. I can't speak right now. What do you want me to ask? Yeah, just, yeah, just let him talk. <laughs> you can answer that. What, what? I mean, yeah, playing with, I guess, Kawaguchi was, it was something to see every night. He'd come in there and he'd have a bad game, but he'd have three points, two goals, <laughs> and assists. So it's just like, Jesus. But uh, no, playing with him, he taught me a lot. He, he's a, he was a great leader there. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, comes in every night and lights it up yeah been doing the same thing in college so i mean obviously there's I a mean, lot of just, skill on that team too you guys won it all i mean yeah i guess what's that sir you guys you had a lot of skill on that team you guys won it all and we're just a top you're always right there right like yeah I, I, well we lost in game seven in overtime that year but yeah yeah that's, that was still there though thanks for that yeah yeah you said to shed that dead weight of cal gucci <laughs> Line, run it back the next season because you know like yeah we should talk about like you were the mvp you know leading scorer for chilliwack there when you ran the table in 2018 won the rbc cup you know maybe explain 
Uh, what that tournament is, you know, for our American listeners more who just like don't know shit. Well, uh, so the RBC Cups, RBC Cups, the uh, national championship yep. and for all junior eight Canada, and there's I think five, four leagues. I want to say four leagues that make it, and there's a host team. So uh, we were actually the host team. We lost first round in playoffs. But we had the automatic bid, which was nice. <laughs> um, we got six six weeks off, no games, nothing, and then uh, we came in and ended up winning it. So it. some people some people don't like the host team, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you guys had all the all the fans, or like, is there you know a mixture from all the four leagues coming in there, or do you guys just pack that line since you're the host team? Oh no, yeah, we we packed that. Yeah. There, was, <laughs> there was like there might have been parents and stuff, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I guess the BC, the other BCHL team, would actually had some of their fans come down. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, for the most part, it was all chill back. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of home ice advantage, but I mean, yeah, you, you'd take it all. And I mean, all in all, yeah, is a good experience for you, and you definitely, you know, developed as a player. Um, but right. how would you say? What was the biggest thing for you in juniors that you learned? Um, just to be like, just had to be ready every day. Yeah. Like, because I guess before juniors, I only practiced twice a week. Played the played one game a week, and then going to junior, it's just like college, you're practicing every day. So you gotta somehow stay mentally focused every day to get better. Mm-hmm. And I think that's all junior taught me, just how to come in professionally and handle my business. All right. Like that. We can talk about you know like what was your recruitment process like? You know, being uh, you know born and raised in Canada, there playing in the BCHL, lighting it up. You know, how many teams like did you visit with? Were you always locked in at RIT or kind of like what? made RIT stand out for you? Good question. Uh, yeah, I was with RIT before I went to uh, to BC. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, my coach, uh, my coach in uh, Midget, I guess, um, played for RIT. Okay. Had nothing but great things to say about it. I came down and visited. It's close to home, which is nice. And uh, so, yeah, it was, it was just always where my heart was. And I think it's three hours, so my parents come for most, most games, most weekends, which is always nice to see them. But yeah, I think the main thing was just um, the facilities and the culture that RIT had. Yeah, you guys do have nice facilities. You guys had a takeover for us, I think, and then yeah, a couple well, weeks, I think, it was a month. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys got a nice place, man. Plus, Every like you said, the atmosphere. Right there. Yeah, no, that's definitely a good recruiting tool for you guys. And I mean, we still have to talk with the equipment manager. We don't have an RIT sweater. Up yeah, that's here. tough. We use that's a little tough. help in that that regard because I love the jays you guys got, especially the whites. Yeah. I don't know. For me, that's that's a play. I like the blacks, but yeah. yeah. All right, whatever works. Yeah, yeah. Just whatever. We'll take no, one. We're not picky. <laughs> Tell your guy we're not picky. You know? <laughs> We'll take what we can get. Yeah. Overnight shipping, whatever. Yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk to them for you. We got we got Let's Dartmouth in do. here in Cornell. They sent us one this week. Michigan Tech sent us one. Yeah. So none of, none of these jerseys are you know anything that you did. Our last guest, we had the wrong ones up. Yeah, that's um, unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're working on that. So yeah, talk to your dad. <laughs> we'll see see what we can get. Uh, maybe number eight sweater. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <Number> eight sweater. <laughs> possible uh let's talk about you know legendary legendary wayne i want to say that's not his nickname but uh, head coach there wayne wilson he was been i look back at the helm since 1999 so yeah, good guy 22 seasons or whatever it is you know he's been there since they transitioned to do a d1 team you know what's it like at having him in the locker room like is is he in, as intimidating as he looks uh you know just talk about his coaching style uh he's actually uh he's pretty loose with the players which is nice he he uh he understands that uh some days aren't going to be our best mm-hmm. and he's not too hard on us obviously he wants us to practice well every day but he understands that some days aren't going to be our best and then come game time he lets us kind of take over and control ourselves and if we want to be loose let us be loose and have some fun in the locker room before the games in the tunnel the hallway mm-hmm. and then he's got his own rituals too so he kind of dialed in pre-game and then on the bench if if you're playing well he's, he's loving you and then sometimes he'll definitely tell you you gotta wake up but for the most part he's he's a good coach and he he lets you do your thing no i mean i just want to talk ask you about just the campus itself though in a normal year you know, what's campus like is hockey is it a hockey school like does everyone know what's going on with the team or I'm kind of curious uh not i wouldn't say everyone but you definitely get into the odd classroom where the teachers mm-hmm. Like there are definitely some season ticket holders amongst teachers, so you get yeah, into class yeah. sometimes. And mm-hmm. first thing they say is, "Hey, great weekend." Yeah, uh, that's what you need. I remember my fresh, freshman year, we had our like six of us walked into one class, and the teacher made them made the class give us a round of applause. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think we swapped there. It's just, it was absurd. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, but <laughs> no, for the most part, like our student section is unreal. And then we have that homecoming game, which I think is like 1100 fans. It's so nice. 11, <laughs> 000, sorry. And then, uh, so yeah, the RIT definitely loves their hockey. That's we gotta we gotta make a trip out there then. Yeah, we gotta. Oh, hundred percent. And you had the is the Brick City like homecoming game like that you mentioned? Is that still happening this year? Because I saw it got you know canceled. Back no, that that got canceled. I think we were supposed to play Penn State this year. Oh, crap. and then yeah, that got that got canceled. So oh, nice. I think I don't know who we got next year, but, okay. but that's yeah, hopefully next year it happens. I think that's the one if we're that's the one. Down yeah, we're gonna have to. I mean, yeah, like you said, what's it, eleven thousand fans or something like yeah. that? Just For them, yeah, I think it's eleven thousand fans and it is packed. Just overflowing. Let's go. <laughs> God. Yeah, we, we go to the Amherst rink and stuff, so okay. we take over that for the night. Oof. Just as long as we're wearing orange, I think we're all right. We'll, <laughs> oh, yeah. we'll fit right in. The, yeah. sea, of, the sea of orange. Yeah. The boys there. Absolutely. Um, I guess one thing that I want to talk about that's just a random question. I was reading over the player profile, which RIT actually does a really good job. Like they most, do. Most players, it's like, you know, mom and dad or this or whatever. They're studying biology, whatever. You guys got like a effing paragraph going there with a bunch of random questions. One thing I got to rip on. I mean, it says here. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Do you know, <laughs> probably know what it is. But okay. It here. says your, uh, you know, your destination uh, vacation spot is Florida. Do you, do you know what yeah, Florida it. is? What? You've been there? Love it. Love, love, it. It. love it love it out of anywhere though like you're like florida's my, my spot i'm going i mean they also asked us this at like nine o'clock in the morning one yeah, day, so true. Just like, <laughs> you're just not even in it like someplace yeah, more. Just, i gotta i think i think my dream job's a pilot or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's in there too yeah pilot. see like i was just throwing stuff out uh, I, I, st- I stopped reading after a certain point like i can't ask about all this because i don't know what state of mind he was in <laughs> but i had to ask about florida so I was just yeah sure. no it definitely wasn't it wasn't given much thought on that question, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Like, Phyllis, you got two minutes to go. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, now it's starting to make sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, I get, what, uh, I'm going to go we, speed round. We could rip speed round here. Okay. Speed round here. Nice. Get the momentum um, up. So up. we throw in like a bunch of just, you know, a soundtrack to make it more suspenseful. Just know these are intense, <laughs> high, high amplitude questions. I like it. All right, let's rip them. All right, big. So, you know, this is number one on the fans' minds. Over under 25 blocks this season. Oh, come on. Over. Over. Oh, yeah, yeah, smash wow. it. No hesitation. Okay. Uh, who, who's got the best die on the team coming mm-hmm. to the rink? Yeah. Coming to the rink? Yep. Uh, probably Bryce and Trap Tow. Okay. What's he repping? It's, un- it's unique, but um, I don't even know. Like, he's, he's got, like, the awesome math you had on, like, the full brim. He don't feel nasty, yeah. 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 Okay. The biz code, like he, he's got some good style. <laughs> I'll give him that. It's not, it's not for everybody, but I'll give it to him. Nice. All right, that's fair. Uh, we can ask this. I looked. You're, you're 22, right. correct? <laughs> yeah. What's the best bar on campus there? Where are we going after you guys win the the Brick City homecoming game? Uh, I think right after you gotta go to McGregor's. It's a local pub. Oh, great. just kind of sh- shut it down. Yeah. Shut it down. The Irish Connor. There we go. <laughs> the, the great one. Okay. What about uh, worst hockey injury you've got? Ooh, I like that one. Uh, no worst. Uh, not, nothing bad, actually. I've only had concussions. <laughs> only concussions. Well, I mean, only I, five. I can't say bad. Nothing bad. <laughs> but just concussions. Yeah, yeah. I just got knocked out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all that happens. Uh, yeah, one. Yeah, well, this is one I wrote that's kind of long for speed, like speed round. But like, what's one difference you've noticed, like in American hockey culture, that's totally different, like compared to Canadian hockey culture? Um, huddling up around your net before the game. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And doing doing your little cheer chant thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that never happens in Canada. I kind of like the uh, not, yeah, like Canada style. You guys just, just just rip straight to business. Yeah, yeah, just straight straight to business. Starting lineup, get on the bench, yeah. and that's what we do at RIT. Do you think uh, okay. do you think fighting should be allowed in college hockey? Good question. Do you got to take out the buckies and everything? Like, yeah. Yeah. No. No. I'm not. A, I'm not a fighter, so I'm gonna say no. Okay. It's interesting. That's not my style. <laughs> not my style. Uh, our PKer, so I'm gonna ask this one. You're rocking the bubble right now. If you had the chance, would you go no bucky or visor? You know, at the next level, what are you gonna rock? <laughs> no bucky. No bucky. I'm saying like no visor. I go visor. I go visor for sure. Yeah. I go visor okay. for sure. Would you go yeah, no bucky if you could? Let it, let it. No, I, concussions. Okay. You, you got to grandfathered yeah. in just to die. Yeah. <laughs> just, there should just be one. Like uh, when Yogs could still play. Yeah. He could go no bucky. He would. He probably would. 
That'd be nice. Okay. Um, what about best away arena? Like, where's one place oh, yeah. in Atlantic that you just love to play? Anywhere. Anywhere. Too. Any, anywhere. anywhere? Yeah. Um, that I've played at? Yeah, in college, yeah. Yes. Uh, probably UMass. Well, okay. Ooh. It's the first. I don't know if we've heard that one. Well, was pretty nice. I, well, I... I'm trying to, yeah, probably low. I can't think of anything. Atlantic doesn't got the best ranks, no. best facilities. <laughs> Besides RIT. Yeah. Correct. You guys rip, but yeah. I like it. What about uh, who's the best player that you've played with or against? It's like, I think we might have mentioned him already, but is there any other yeah, probably, that stick out? Probably Kawaguchi. Okay. What about played yeah, against? Like, played against? Yeah. yeah. Um, Makar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit, I should have thought of that. Okay. Uh, uh, what about uh, like go music? Any, we could go music. Yeah. Is there anybody in the locker room there? I mean, you wear the A. Do you play the music? Is there anybody that's not allowed the ox cord anymore because mm-hmm. they suck? <laughs> uh, no, no. I mean, they don't really like let me on it too much, but that's tough. Um, <laughs> I, I'm wearing the rock and stuff. That this, this team likes their country and EDM. So whenever I get on there, usually a quick exit. <laughs> it's but, a quick. I don't, I don't really like anyone else that plays music, so... Fair enough. I just put in my headphones. Okay. I probably would. Country and EDM. That's a weird combo. Who's your favorite band, then? You're, you're a rock guy. What are you, what's going through the AirPods before the game? No, rap. rap. Oh, you rap. said rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Rap, yeah. Even better. Now I'm with you. Now I can, now yeah, I can give, understand. Give us songs <laughs> you're listening to, or like what's something that just gets you ready to you know, run through a wall before you... Before you go out there, yeah. Jack Harlow was the first thing that came to mind. Hey, I, I like Harlow. I mean, his hey, new album, good yeah. music, but doesn't get me going. Yeah, no, oh, no, no it's, it's true. It's, it's true. not like something that I just like fucking read. Yeah, no, I, yeah, probably. I put a little baby on Toronto, so I'll go with Drake. Drake, okay. all right, that's fair. Yeah, oh, yeah, Drake was your favorite artist. I recall that. Mm. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any we haven't asked yet? Uh, just normal speed round, like what pregame uh, routine for you? Yeah, what's, what's your day look like? Uh, pregame routine, yeah. um, get to the rink, ride the bike mm-hmm. for a little bit in the morning, get my pregame meal, eat, take a nap, and then uh, I get to the rink, tape my stick, do the team warm up and stuff, and then we actually got a crew that sits on our couches in the locker room and we just shoot the shit for a little bit. Doesn't sure. have to be about hockey. We uh, we take over our locker room pretty much and just sit on the couches for about twenty minutes. Wait to get ready. Couch crew. They nice couches. We got like yeah, couch couch. <laughs> couch. Let's go. Just some loungers. I like that. Or what about? Oh, yeah, uh, it's a real nice couch. Let's go. We're not gonna pick to that bad boy. <laughs> the uh, couch. The couch crew. What about like? Are you a video game guy? Like, what are you doing off the ice? Uh, I mean, now that we're in a pandemic, can't really do much with being in your room. Like, what? Uh, what are you doing to stay busy? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big Warzone guy. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, a lot of video games, Warzone, and uh, PGA. Oh, okay. It's new? I suck at PGA. I love it. Okay. I love it. Lenny loves <laughs> that guy. Uh, okay, let's say Warzone, you're dropping in, you need a dub. Where are you dropping, and like, what's your like, what's your loadout looking like? Need it? Uh, if I need a dub, I'm going jail. For sure. Oh, grimy. All right. <laughs> Did you expect sure. anything else just, from the guy? Sure. Just sitting out in prison. This guy wears 30 shots a season. Like, I you think he's going anywhere else? Yeah, yeah did I you expect just, anything else? No. I, I was didn't. assuming, you know, you're dropping hot. Uh, maybe, I can't, I haven't played Warzone in a hot minute. Neither actually, but yeah. Not downtown or anything, but that kind of answer, it sounds like you're dropping downtown, sitting on top of a building. I don't know. No, no, I'm going to jail and I'm driving a helicopter. Okay. Getting, <laughs> a few kills, getting a few kills in the air. There you go. go. Heli's a good one. And player. then, get, get the loadout and... Just hopefully don't die. Let it ride. <laughs> okay. That's a, that's a, you finished that answer well. I like that. That's it for our speed round. Yeah, you um, made it through. We do want to give you the chance. We're running out of time here. But as far as um, advice, you know, what, what advice would you give to younger players trying to make it to D1 and reach their goals? Just just be patient. It doesn't happen. For some guys, it happens overnight. But for other guys, it takes a while. So you might not be uh, the player right now. But in a couple of years, you might be. So just always keep grinding and you never know what will happen. I like that. That's a good answer, yeah. Uh, you know, trust the process. Short and sweet. Yeah. Learn exactly. how to PK and score goals. You'll be good to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, get it from all sides. What about, uh, you know, you grew up playing hockey in Canada. Like, at what age did you, you know, first lace them up? Like, were you just eating pucks at, like, three and a half? <laughs> or what was that all? Yeah, I, I, started, I started seeing that three, and then there we just kind of took off from there. Oh, that, I love it. It just came naturally. Right. it's beautiful cool. what can we expect from RIT though for the rest of the season we can see you guys on the tourney or what's going on here yeah, both yeah I think so I think you're going to expect a, a 
exciting team to watch, an offensive team, a team, a uh, quick team, but no, we're going to be gritty too. Like we'll, we'll get after it in the corners and stuff like that. So hopefully you'll see us in the tournament. I love it. I would love to see you just get pucks in deep, forget the goals, just like a couple nice dump ins, cross corner dumps. That's all I yeah. want to see. How about you? Hide chips off the glass. <laughs> soft chips and get after it. Yeah. Soft chips. That's what we got to work yeah. I like soft chips. Yeah, me too. All right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going to be looking forward to the orange, you know, playing here. Can of corn. Can of corn. And, uh, you guys play Sunday and is it Sunday, Monday then? Hopefully Sunday, Monday. We got to mm-hmm. figure out stuff. The, Okay. Our coaches don't even know yet, but Sunday for sure, and then we'll okay. see you come Monday. Okay, because it was going to be Friday, Sunday, right? Okay. It was supposed to be Friday, Sunday, but I, I, I don't know what happened, and <laughs> they just told us we're playing Sunday now. Yeah, I mean, you guys are... I ask, I ask a little question, but just... Right. They you just show up and score and eat pucks. Up. Yeah, that's you all you can do. You guys are soldiers. You wait for orders, man. <laughs> exactly. Get in there, get pucks deep. So, all right, Sunday, hopefully Monday. We'll post this pod on Friday. Um, so still it'll be fresh and then we'll, you know, get people amped up for it. On yes, Sunday sir. I uh, will swipe up Perfect. and all that, but, uh, yeah, we'll want to thank you for coming on. I mean, it's, uh, probably seven o'clock your time now, so it's getting late, but, uh, yeah, we'll be Later there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we play favorites here, so we're all RIT this week and, uh, you know, we're pumped to watch you play. Uh, just stay Perfect. healthy, stay getting pucks and deep, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming all on. Right, sounds, sounds good. Thanks for having me guys. Yeah, just our boy, Will Calverly. Um, I mean, what a guy. Ran the, the RBC Cup there, like he said. Uh, he got to be the host team and then just you know took it from there, commits to RIT, or he got, was already going to RIT, but obviously his resume kind of exploded after that. Um, ten, ten points in six games right the year after I'm having not, the season canceled and came back and just his, yeah. Yeah, I think that, uh, I mean, I don't know who the president Fumblefingers was who made that decision to shut <laughs> easy, down the team, but yeah. he's got to be... Uh, pretty glad that you brought the boys back. I mean, they could easily take the Atlantic or at least be a top three team yeah. in the playoffs here. Like, their schedule up. I top mean, offensive team for sure in the Atlantic. And yeah, they light it up every day. AIC's done well, though, too, so no discredit to them. But they. Yeah, for sure, but they don't play AIC the rest of the year. That's why I'm saying their schedule. Until playoffs, yeah. It's looking, it's looking nice good. Yeah, them. definitely favorable for them. And uh, it's tough. They don't have their, their, their fans there for such a good season, but yeah, the they're watching. Crew. Yeah. Corner crew is maybe one of the most active fans on Twitter, at least. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm su- sure they have Instagram they're posting, but like Twitter just gets light up every time they play it. And yeah, they're they're all about it. They're in his ear. I mean, same with the Teletubbies we had from Quinnipiac last. <laughs> yeah, class some class good student sections. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're probably living next door to our boy Will there. But uh, I mean, fourth in the nation, six games, ten points. Like everybody above him in points has played at least three more games. Mm-hmm. Just crazy. Exactly. Yeah. So just give them, give them some time, and uh, they're gonna keep pumping. Yeah, Scouts our guys. Only a junior. He's got one more year, and we will be down there for the Brick homecoming game. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they play. Dude, if they played like the Bulldogs or something. I, <laughs> I mean, Penn mind. State. That would have been a good team to have come in, especially I think this it was year. Notre Penn State. I didn't correct him. Penn State would have been sick too. Though. Yeah. Whatever. Anything just some Big good, Ten yeah. or you know another another conference. Nodak. Just, just have Nodak come in. <laughs> oh God. Calgucci, the yeah. rematch. Yeah. yeah. He won't be there. <laughs> he won't be. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, so what a, what a guy. Shout out to Will. Uh, make sure you guys uh, check out that. on probably watching on YouTube right now, so thank you. But uh, if not, sub that and check it out on uh, YouTube. Watch all his highlights because he lit it up there. But, uh, yeah, let's jump in. We really haven't talked. You know, we had our podcast last week on Tuesday. Yep. So, I mean, a lot of hockey happened from December 9th and on. Right. Uh, you know, what, what stood out to you from this weekend, from the last week of a lot of good college puck there? Uh, Northeastern got their first games in. Yeah, they, they look pretty good, didn't they? Yeah, all right. How many goals did they have combined? Uh, I don't know. I just saw a Merrimack and a dead body. Similar <laughs> to, uh, you know, what happened when I showed up to the studio today. And how about those Jays? They're, so, ro- they're rocking the, the red Jays, too. Or, tsh, we need yeah, we need one in the dude, studio. But Those are icy. I mean, just, they look very powerful to start the season. Like, yeah, they have a brand tons new. Tons of pucks, indeed. They have a brand new Tendi. Because, you know, I did the Tendi post for rankings yep. and everything. Like, I couldn't find anything on this guy. But, I mean, he only gave up, I think, one or two goals. Oh, one, like, yeah, something like that. Just a stud. Yeah. A lot of guys that, uh, you know, you haven't heard of because they lost a lot of big scores last year. They're still looking nasty. I mean, they put up, what, like 17 goals in two games or some shit. So uh, they're going to be scary. You got them in the top 10 right now, and they could easily keep moving up if they're going to be knocking off, you know, high caliber teams like that. Uh, I mean, which I wouldn't say super high caliber for Merrimack, but they're definitely, you know, top 25 coming into that. They had 14 goals the first two games. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> couple That's, studies yeah, yeah put them on the board so northeastern <laughs> definitely stood out but then also you know when we were recording mm-hmm. uh, the golf sweep in michigan yeah pretty yeah big yeah i mean michigan had six, five or six guys out but right. the gophers had three defensemen Think yeah. about that. That's half your decor just gone to World Juniors. Exactly. And defensemen. But Michigan did have missing down. three centers who are a huge part That's of their true. offense, though. So I, I like to see a rematch, which they will. They're definitely the 
top two teams, I think, yeah. in the Big Ten so far. Yeah, take everything with a little bit of grain of salt, but I mean, still 8 0 is 8 0. Yeah. Like the only, uh, you know, undefeated team that's played that many games. And that's their best games. start since uh, 2002. So, I mean, the Ghosts, Ghosts are a hot hometown team. It's good to. Yeah, Minnesota hockey is buzzing right yeah, now. Yeah, the hockey school. Four, four schools in the top 10. Yep. Is that good? That's pretty good, man. No, it's been definitely fun oh, to watch man. and all. You know, more teams are getting in the mix now, and it's just wait till the bees getting there. Yeah, Maine, Maine got Woo. Maine got their games in. They got a win and a loss. They're I think they back. split with uh, New New Hampshire. So can we talk about my Eagles? Yeah, go. So uh, Niagara, remember when we were picking and like they're only playing one game against Clarkson. Mm-hmm. We said we said match the over. I don't think the over hit only five. Yeah, but four uh, one Eagles upset. Eagles are buzzing. You don't want to go dip. into <laughs> Niagara because I mean that's I mean fans are not a tough place to play. And uh, Eagles showed up. I mean, they were up four nothing. They did. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a performance. Impressive. Right there. Cooley, did Cooley get on the sheet? Cooley, I don't know if he got. On I, the don't sheet. So. I don't think so. I don't think I definitely would have retweeted it. So I want to say no, but he might have got a you know a phantom assist there, as Godet would say. Uh, other than that, you know, a lot of pod splitting action. UMD's n- no longer undefeated. Can't win them all. Can't win them you know, all. They're losing guys to juniors too, so that's tough. I mean, Nodak fell uh, to St. Cloud. Mm-hmm. That was also hard to see. I mean, they were, they were giving up a lot of goals this weekend. They ended up, you know, rallying two in a row. I think they beat Miami and uh, Western yep. after that. So uh, not a bad weekend recovery-wise for Nodak. Still ended up in four in our list. But, They'll be just fine at the end yeah. of the year, <laughs> pair-wise. Wise, and, like, they're going to be right there. Yeah. So and, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, like you said, Duluth lost that one to, uh, who was it, Colorado College. So Yeah, that's our boy. Yeah. Big nose. <laughs> big <laughs> Big nose, big three-point game for our guy there. He's he, playing right now again. They're live. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but uh, I mean, big Miami had a nice one-zero shutty mm-hmm. through their ten D on goalie of the week. Got a little bit of hate because uh, Lafontaine probably should have been there, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, he literally, I mean, shut out Omaha, who's been lighting up teams. They're looking good in the pod there. Uh, they just can't, you know, they run into a hot goalie. That's really been their only. They ran into one, and uh, that yeah. Ryan Fanti when they lost to UMD, I mean, mm-hmm. just a tough third period. But they could easily be, you know, top twenty team right now too. So the pod's still heating up. Uh, Got the Tigers going there. Miami might win tonight. Who knows? Yep. Shake it up a little bit. But big kinda Big a, Ten's kind of on break now. They yeah, that's the one's wrapped it up. Notre Dame Ohio State split this past week, but now it's we got a couple weeks. Both till big teams Ten look pretty good in that series. They did, yeah. Notre Dame could right outside top. Get them on right offense, now. right? Yeah, I agree with I'd that. I say it looked good. Yep. Alex Lamoja is getting up there. Had a four point uh, weekend. I'm trying to think. Is there anything? That was kind of a rapid fire recap here. Holy Cross and Bentley played. Probably should mention that. Must uh, mention. And yeah. don't forget about my beefs. Split with Tech this weekend. Sure, yeah. They finally got the first dub. God, I just wish they'd play more. Yeah. You know? I mean, Bowling Green's looking really good. They're right at number 10 for us now, too. Uh, they're the only you know WCHA team that's getting that many games in yeah. because they actually scheduled sure. with the Atlantic, which was smart, uh, you know, just running down those teams. <laughs> right. Kind of bad. But, uh, yeah, our boy, uh, you know, Cruz was looking nice this weekend. And, you know, Falcons are running. They're running. Yeah, like you said, 10th in our rankings. And who else would you say is right outside our top 10 for you? Uh, I mean, Michigan. I, I booted them out just because they, they got swept and they were at, I think, seven before. Mm-hmm. And like you said, once they get their players back, they're going to be looking a lot better. If they, you know, split with a, a good team in the Big Ten or uh, a nice non-conference, put them right back in there, I'd say. So them, Wisconsin, once everybody comes back. Uh, I don't know. What about you? Um, other than that, though, I don't know. Like St. Cloud's in our top ten now. They've looked really good to start the season. Um, right. I think Quinnipiac's Quinnipiac's gonna be there next they're week right there. Sure, obviously, yeah. Who do they got coming? I think they got an easier. Oh, they just swept, so we got to put them. They're not easier. Yeah. They're playing Bowling Green this weekend. I think coming. It'll be up interesting. Here. So we'll so see. If those rankings test. can be affected this weekend. If they but... can split there. They'll probably stay on top. All right. So that's kind of you know just a quick recap of everything. There's two that we should mention. Yeah. Uh, UConn had a nice weekend, like you mentioned. Oh, uh, a big upset over BC. BC is missing. Our boy Karashik got his. Yeah, he texted me right after. He's like, "You like he's that? Oh yeah, he's let's go." <laughs> Um, your cousins yeah and then don't sleep on denver obviously either they had a rough start to the season but now they're heating up and yeah. the offense has always been there but now they're just getting the dub doing a little more so facts and obviously there's uh like spencer knight didn't play for bc and yeah bc lost yeah they, a lot of guys they, they, there yeah. obviously too so I don't mean, take away from uconn though they still played very well so far this season they're looking mm-hmm. solid yeah tough yeah. team to play uh tough very defensively sound i'd say mm-hmm. um so yeah those teams that we had to mention uh other than that you know, let's jump into the slate of games we got this week like yeah been kind of quiet. Quinnipiac swept Sacred Heart. We found that out tonight. Yep. Uh, I mean, really took it to them the first night. Obviously, it was a 9-2. Yes. Yeah. So, yep. a yep. in there. <laughs> and then, uh, OTW tonight. So, a little bit closer, obviously. Uh, but then, I mean, just going to have pod games all week leading up to a big weekend. Slate. Yeah. Let's let's hit our game of the week right here. Game huh? of the week. Can of corn versus... Oh, you're going that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> game, of the, game of the week. That's all right. 
We have Canisius versus RIT, our mm-hmm. boy there. I'm RIT sweep. All, right, All the way. Yeah, I'll go RIT sweep. Okay. My game of the week. I think that's easy. Niagara versus Mercyhurst. Oh, true. <laughs> Niagara by uh, 50. I'm going to go split Mercyhurst. My boy Hank, really? Hank Johnson got his first shutout and win. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go. Hank gets we'll one. That. One for Mercyhurst, they're the Lakers. But uh, other than that, in the pod, we got Omaha at Duluth. Um, this is tomorrow, but Nodak at Saint, or, or St. Cloud and Ferris State versus Northern Michigan. So mm, Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped to Northern see Northern Michigan's it. first game, right? All those, yeah. Northern Michigan hasn't played Griff, it. Boy Griff has just been Griff, getting ready to go into the box. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's, he's like just fighting his neighbors at this point. So uh, once he gets out there, who do they play? Uh, I think they play Michigan Tech after that later mm-hmm. in the week. So uh, excited to see the... The Wildcats back in action there, but yeah, some nice pod games leading up to a bigger slate, I think, because uh, I'm, I mean, I got uh, Saturday circled on the calendar, UMD Nodak. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a noontime game. I'm gonna wake up from, you know, just a tough Friday night, and I'm gonna feel really <laughs> good about the pullouts getting after it. We I do say. have. Yeah, get going. Dogs, dogs are winning that one. Go. That's I'll go with the dog as well. We do have one more Big Ten series that I forgot about. Who that? That's gonna be ASU versus Ohio State. I got a series Ooh. of two. Who do you got in that? It's so weird just thinking about Arizona State without Johnny Hockey, which, I mean, he's just yeah. been kind of an afterthought, um, just because he has been healthy. Mm-hmm. I'm, they play, it's a series, two? Yeah, two. Yep. I'll go split. Both teams are, they're both playing well. I'll go sweep for Ohio State. I, I mean, I, if I was going to take a sweep, probably Ohio yeah. State, yeah, but I, I mean, Arizona State, Sun Devils, they can light it up. I can't, they scored, they scored plenty of goals this year, but uh, yeah. Ohio State sweep for me. Okay, that's bold. I like it. Do we get dude? There's no Huntsville action this weekend. There is no Huntsville action. Uh, I was looking at it. I was like, something's missing. All right, let's touch on you know your Beavs, Mankato. Yeah. Revenge game. I'll go split. No win the first Not one. Not going split no. your own Beavers. Nope. Mankato look good. But Mitchie's gotta just be hurt. <laughs> Hearing that from a hometown kid there. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll go split too, just so I you know. You don't beat me up after this, but... Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Northern Michigan, Michigan Tech, like you mentioned. Bowling Green at Quinnipiac. That should probably be the series of the week. Two yeah, uh, teams right favorites. outside the top ten for us, so... And looking at it right now, 13 and 11, mm-hmm. USCHO ranking. So, yeah, I'll say probably a split there, too. But, uh, you know, if you have to base it off strength of schedule, I don't even know because they're both playing non-conference right now. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's definitely tough. To, and you don't know what Sacred Heart is yet. Mm-hmm. So, same with Bowling Green. I think their biggest win is over Robert Morris. Like... You know, it's kind of a wash. So, yeah, that would be a big statement series right there. Uh, who else we got? I mean, St. Cloud. Like, every pod game, there's not one bad, bad one. It's just different every day, so there's no series. It's tough, you yeah, know, but it's... you're kind of just flying through. They're all, all close games, though, like you said, so it's... One it's, thing it's I did hockey. want to give a shout-out on, Western Michigan, I mean, obviously, just a terrible first week in the pod. They're kind yeah. of getting lit up there. I think Omaha dropped 10 on them mm-hmm. or whatever. And then our boy, Ethan Frank, I mean, they didn't have... He's been on the score sheet. He, he has five goals for them right now. I think he had a five-point week. Forgot to put that in the in the player... Uh, stars here. It's, uh, it's all right. We saw you. I'm just gonna say it was a little, uh, you know, mishap. It's on us. But, I'll take uh, that he's one. Definitely been lighting up, and they're playing a lot better since, yeah, since the first week. So mm-hmm. yeah, they got great. Omaha, Omaha tomorrow, and uh, what about the next day? Who do we? Who do they got? Omaha. Omaha. Oh, Vermont's getting their first game. Yep, it's a new one. Okay, I like it. Oh God, Michigan State. Notre Dame. I thought Big Ten was totally done after this. What week. is the logo they got from Michigan? It's the S. I don't know. What? Yeah, that'll be a fun. So let's touch, on, I'll like let's touch on. Let's touch on the nineteenth and twentieth because that's the rest of this week. Okay. All right. Wait, let me get back to. Okay, so man, I hate how far I have to scroll down. Yeah, I know it sucks. You got a good system going there. So yeah, other games we haven't mentioned. I guess uh, Maine versus UMass Lowell, two mm. teams that both have only one game under their belt right now. Here I'm going to take UMass Lowell. Like you said, I think they look good, even though they didn't get that W. But uh, I mean, yeah, just excited to see two teams that. I'm going to take them. Skated much. I'm going to take Maine. Take Maine. Yeah. The Black Bears. You're uh, absolutely. Who's your boy? I'm trying to think. Not Patty's not there anymore. He's not there. Ed, but they still look good. Ed Trail Mix. <laughs> Ed Trail Mix. In no, there. we'll go Maine. Um, okay. Who else we got? We got another Big Ten series, Michigan State at Notre Dame. Who do you got? Uh, I'm going to take Notre Dame sweepy. Notre Dame sweep. Okay. I'll go. Sorry, our boy Combs. Yeah, it's Love tough. They, I'll go split. They I'll go split. Great in that, that series. I mean, it's against the Gophers, obviously. It's tough, yeah. And they have a bye week, so they can still have fresh legs. But, yeah. You'll sweep. Notre Dame's look too good. I'll go split still. That, that one's yeah. on NBC. That'll be fun to watch. It's on NBC. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, and then Vermont, UMass. I... I mean, I think UMass sweep, but I'm excited to see some Catamount hockey. <laughs> I'll go UMass Canadian sweep as well. And, and, you know, fresh administrator. Is Babcock going to be on the bench? Is I don't know, but another good series, Providence Northeastern, rink? though. Providence Northeastern. That would be a good one. Who do you uh, got for that? I'll take split. Split? Yeah. I think Providence finally, you know. I'm going to go. After they got rocked. I'll year. go Northeastern sweep. Yeah. yeah. I, can, I can see that happening. <laughs> but I like the split call. Yeah. Uh, New Hampshire at Merrimack. 
Uh, New Hampshire looks good so far, but I'll take New Hampshire. Uh, they didn't look so good against Northeast, so I'm gonna give me, give me Angus and the boys. <laughs> don't Ang- sleep on Merrimack. Angus is gonna hang his jersey number on. Don't him. sleep. Six goals. Don't sleep. All right, we'll see. Yeah. Put it on there. <laughs> Book it. Book it, book it. As far as MCHC pod, more of the team, same teams just playing each other again. <laughs> Denver Western coming up on Saturday there. I mean, yeah. So basically, you know who's going to be playing. Just Duluth Nodak again, little rematch. That'll be interesting. That's the biggest one. Duluth got them in the shootout the first time a couple yeah. days ago, so I'll take Nodak in that Both rematch. Both will be missing some guys. Yep, that's It'll true. It'll be a little different to see out there, but I mean, still Kyle Gucci's on the ice. You're going to want to be tuned in. Basically. Love it. Yeah. But that's kind of a wrap on what we're going to see. Any uh, ECH news we got to break to the people? Besides, we're yeah. all live. We didn't get shot at. Um, hello, boy. We got a live audience tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's already going to be dropped, which we're going to tease tomorrow, but go for Pond Hockey video. True. Coming off for Throwback Thursday. It was recorded last year, but yeah. uh, <laughs> Make sure it's ready to that. go. It's ready to go. It's nice, and it's uh, with the current number one team in the country, the Minnesota Golden Gophers there. So People forget. A little hometown video, and it's uh, let's pop it off and share it. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it's the same people because they have, what, 97% of their scores? Were yeah, teams, it's the so same guys on the team. Same yeah. guys you love, you know and love. Mm-hmm. You're going to see them on the pond uh, <laughs> walking yours truly. So There we go. Yeah. As, as anything would happen, so... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we're dropping this week. Stay tuned for all the games. We'll give you guys recaps and whatnot. Uh, shout out to our guy, Eric Otto, playing his first game tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, coming back. <laughs> what a story. Like that, and mm-hmm. then suiting up for AIC. They rolled tonight easily over Army. So, I mean, what a show up. Yeah, no. Tip of the cap to him. That's a good That's a good motivational story right there. If you're yeah, I, I, I wish, your motivation. I, yeah, great story. Love to hear that. I mean, that's why I love sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eric Otto, shout out to you. But. I think that's kind of a wrap on what we got for college hockey here. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know, make sure that uh, you're liking, subscribing, all that good news on our, all of our social pages. Yep. You can find us at Everything College Hockey, Team ECH on Twitter. Yes, sir. I think we're even on LinkedIn now. I mean, we are literally <laughs> everywhere. All right. So ask Siri. She'll know what to do to get you where you need to be. Um, voice crack. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, that's, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap. No. oh another one. Boys, nothing but soft chips from here. Soft chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y